How do you save money on your electric bill this summer, especially if uh, you're going to use an AC unit? Um, you know, I this is what I do. I I'm not exactly sure why, but um, my unit uh, about oh gosh five o'clock, six o'clock, maybe upwards until seven or eight. It doesn't matter what you put the thermostat on. It's not getting any cooler. <laughs> than 77, 78 degrees. And I, I, I noticed that, especially when it's humid outside. I had the same problem last year. A guy came out. I don't know if they recharged it or what, but, uh, you know, it, it worked okay. But uh, this year, same thing I noticed yesterday. Uh, but as far as uh, how I save energy, I leave the thermostat about 75, 76 uh, during the day uh, because it's just me and uh, Max, the dog, in the house. Um, I use ceiling fans. When I first come home from work, I'll usually uh, you know, bring it down a little bit so it can start cooling uh, because it usually takes quite a while. Uh, but I use ceiling fans a lot. I don't do any laundry unless it's late at night um, or sometimes late at night on the weekends because I don't want to heat the house up. I don't run the dishwasher. I don't, uh, I don't do any of that. Um, and all the blinds, and all my windows, I have uh, uh, floor-to-ceiling windows, and they all face east. Uh, so <laughs> basically, the house sits there and cooks all day long when you have weather like we're having right now. So I keep all the, uh, the blinds pulled and the curtains drawn, even though, you know, you want to... You want the view, it's better to have a cool house. So, you know, I do that. And then, um, you know, maybe on the weekends, I might open the blinds for an hour or two, something like that, um, at least until you get through this brutally hot, oppressive heat, uh, because it doesn't make any sense when you got that many windows, all of them facing east. You're just, you know, cooking the inside of your house. Doesn't make sense. So, no, I don't do any cooking. I, I just don't do any of it. Now, I know that's probably not typical because, you know, I'm a single guy with uh, with a dog in the house, and even though he's almost 100 pounds and probably eats more than I do, um, you know, I'm trying to keep, trying to keep cool, right? Uh, if you're at home with kids and, and, you know, a family of four or five, that's a whole different thing. Um, but for me, it's not, it's not that difficult in the evenings uh, when I go to bed again, I'll turn the thermostat back up uh, a little bit, turn on the ceiling fan. I got to be careful because if I sleep under the ceiling fan all night, I lose my voice. I guess it's uh, dries out the air or something. Um, and when you use your voice for a living, that's kind of important, but you know, I'll turn the thermostat up to give the unit a break. Uh, so it's not running all the time. Um, I'm not exactly sure what you do. I'll take your calls to find out. But Stephen Stewart, he's the owner of Southern Comfort Mechanical AC and Heating, um, pa very passionate about raising the bar in the industry. Um, and Stephen, thanks for being with me. Not a problem. Thanks for having me on, Mike. You bet. You know, Southern Comfort... Um, when I first see Southern Comfort, I think back to when I was a teenager, but, uh, uh, I don't think that's what you meant. You weren't talking, talking about the liquor. You're talking about probably being comfortable here in the South, right? Exactly. You're, uh, I would say that's what most people think of when they hear it. So there's been a lot of bad experiences with the alcohol at some point in most people's youth. So, okay. Uh, I just told everybody what I do to, um, uh, well, let me ask you this, especially, I, I notice it when it's especially humid out, it's like the unit can't keep up with the thermostat. And I'm not talking about, you know, knocking it down to 72 or three. I'm talking about, you know, 75, 74, uh, yeah. and it just won't get above 77 or 78 until, you know, usually two, three hours. What causes that? That is the, the humidity in the air. So there's, I would say, if you think there's two pieces to the AC or the cooling dime, one is the, the temperature or the feel. 
The other part of it is that humidity in the air. So part of uh, what you're feeling is that humidity needs to be removed or drawn down before that temperature will start to move down. So it's that unit trying to run to get the humidity out of the air and remove that moisture from your home. Right, right. That uh, makes sense. Um, you know, from your vantage point, if you're sitting down in front of a bunch of people, which is exactly what you're doing, uh, what would your advice be uh, for people to save money on their energy bill if they plan on using an uh, AC unit this summer? I have uh, a few suggestions. You, uh, Whenever you were doing the intro, you uh, touched on a bunch of those. Uh, so the first thing, just to put it in context, the average AC unit consumes 40 to 45 percent of the home's energy. Uh, so they're energy hogs, especially as we're into this, this high temperature. My recommendation would be to have a maintenance or a tune-up completed on the unit. Uh, which is, you know, making sure it's clean, things are operating properly, there's no dirt buildup, uh, and that's, you know, just phoning at your local AC company and asking them to do a maintenance or a tune-up. If uh, you're not at that stage and you want to do it yourself, <clears throat> things uh, that you as a homeowner can do would be two things primarily. One is make sure that the filters are regularly changed and cleaned. It's like going back to the days of a face mask. So if, if a filter is clogged up, uh, we say it makes it harder for the unit to make the air flow through and get it cooled. The other part is making sure that the outdoor uh, unit, the condensed for the heat pump, is clean. It's flowing the air through to cool the coolant off before it puts it back into the home. So making sure that's rinsed off. I uh, would say if there's questions how to do that, there's some stuff on our YouTube channel on how to do that. But if you, you know, YouTube or watch videos on how to clean an outdoor unit, you'll see those just using a hose pipe and low pressure water. But that, that will help keep the air flowing and moving and reduce that, we'll say, how hard that unit needs to work. Um, uh, you know, it's, you know, a lot of this is just common sense and preventative maintenance and you know every year uh, i don't know why we act surprised when it gets brutally hot outside uh and then there's something that goes wrong uh, with the air conditioner <laughs> i mean you don't do that with your car don't do it with your air conditioner i mean you make sure your tires are good and your filter is clean and and all the rest of you running good gas through it now you got to do the same thing with your AC unit, especially if you live in North Texas, because it just gets hot. It's just that simple. Yeah. And it, yeah, there's moving components and things do build up, things wear out. So yes, you're a, a man after my own heart. So I highly <laughs> recommend getting the maintenance done and finding those issues and problems early. Uh, Stephen Stewart, owner of uh, Southern Comfort Mechanical AC and Heating. Uh, if you want more information from him, just contact Southern Comfort Mechanical, AC and Heating.